I'm from Brazil. I've been out of my home country for around 11 years now because I was really hungry to have an international career and being able to have a more diverse experience about the corporate world. So I worked for seven years in Chile, now four years here in Singapore, which has been an incredible experience to work within the Southeast Asia and APEC market as well. And I think that has always marked my career that is being curious about cultures, curious about how business actually works um, around the world. So I started with public relations, moved into market research, then moved into sales. So that had been my journey. And across that journey, yes, had the opportunity to have different roles. Now I am working at LinkedIn. So I am responsible for our APAC key accounts team, which again is great because then we can work with clients around the entire APAC. And especially in a moment right now, it just challenges us, right? On how to keep working with our, the transformation of our clients, but as well our own transformation, which is my passion. For sure, within the sales, um, how can I say, area of expertise, a big change happened for everyone, right? So, I mean, you, you also have been on the field. We know that a lot of our engagements and the build of trust would come from our face-to-face -face engagements. Well, that changed, that has changed, and that has changed to our clients as well. So I think what we've seen happening is really the acceleration of our most traditional clients that maybe would still have very traditional methods of selling, they needed to adapt really quick. And that being a, a need, there's just, there is no other option, right? So um, I, I think we could observe clients and that were really, how can I say, eager to take that as an opportunity to make a, a quick move. We also saw other clients that maybe they would be more like in a freezy mode, right? Now, what do we do? How, how, how do we make this happen? Oh my God, people are not at the office. But um, I think the interesting point there again is that I think the big change is that leadership, so the leaders, they really needed to step up again to lead by example and also trust their teams. In our case, right, we were prepared to help clients with it because we are, we were in the digital selling world already. And more important than that, especially because you cannot see what the other person is doing on the other side, right? So if you're having a conversation with a client, how do we make sure that you are relevant, that you're really talking about something that is interesting for that client? And I also think that in a moment right now, that became even more important because you really need like people, they are working from home, they have their work to deliver, but they also have like thousands of distractions in their home, right? The dog, the kid, everything. Um, so you need to make sure that you're, you are being relevant and making right impact. I think um, it really goes with being curious but genuinely curious, okay? I think in sales in general, what happens is that you have your agenda. So you, of course, right, you have a quota. You want to reach your quota. You have a product to sell, a service to sell. You want to go with that. But um, sales is really about the, the, your buyer, right? It's about what is happening there. So I, what I've seen from my most successful um, sales professionals that I was able to work with, um, there is a clear curiosity and genuinity on really understanding the client and understanding what makes them tick and understanding overall, like how their business work. And, and, and that, that can be practiced. When you, when you remember yourself to put your client first, put your client before your own interest on closing a sale, right? Um, the second thing for me 
it really goes with the authenticity. So how authentic you are. I think there is nothing, I mean, you, you would have your own sales experiences as well when people are trying to sell you something. There is nothing more like really boring, like disengaging if you feel that someone is reading a script to you or that they are not being the real selves when they're talking to you. So I think you being authentic, exposing your point of view and being yourself when you are in a sales process is really important. And I think it's a message that I really would like to pass, especially for people who are starting their sales career. They tend to not maybe be that confident yet. So they really want to like fit in a specific box or fix a specific format. You can follow the best practices, but you need to find your style, which is your own style on that, right? Most successful sales professionals, they wouldn't work alone. So they would brainstorm with their colleagues what happened, what they would do. They would work a lot with their managers as well. Hey, you know, what would you do if, you, if you're in this situation? They would talk with subject experts, like um, in their organizations as well. So that ability to get ideas from different places and come up with a creative way of solving their client issues as well is something that stand out to me. In the beginning of a leadership career, you tend to think that being a leader is that person that needs to know it all and that needs to get people following them. And I think the more mature you get into leadership and into working with people, you're starting to realize actually the opposite. How important it is for you to be able to have a real nurturing relationship with your team. How important it is for you to be vulnerable and for you to be humble and for you to be the person that doesn't know it all, but is resourceful to know who knows each thing, <laughs> okay? And being a connector for your team. So I think across my years, like working with different people, not only sales, but different functions as well. Um, I think the strong bond of trust between team and between like the leader and all, it really comes on being real, on being vulnerable and really inspiring people to, to understand that we are all people. <laughs> At the end of the day, we'll all have good days, we'll all have bad days. We are all trying like on the pursuit of happiness. Let's say like that, right? That's, that's at the end what we are all looking for. Um, and therefore, by being vulnerable, I think um, people understand better as well where you come from when you're raising the bar or when you're inspiring excellence or when you are really like um, getting people from A to B and getting people to uncomfortable places that will help them to grow in their career, right? So I am a big believer that that is not achievable through authority or not achievable by being the boss that know it all. I think people really get along and they they want to do the best for themselves inspired by you when they see that you also have challenges and that you do not know it all. So I think that was one of the big learnings for me. Um, and yeah, I would love to send that message to everyone, like maybe in their early careers or being um, on their track for that. Be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. Don't be shy to be vulnerable. It pays off. <laughs>